Right then, I'm off to rescue Dolly. 100%. Quidlington, what are you doing? You're supposed to be cleaning Jupiter, not your foot. I know, sir, but I finished cleaning Jupiter. Uh, can I join in the smoke room training now, sir? Hmm. Wait a minute. There's some soot on Jupiter's bumper. And her headlights. There will be no smoke room training for you, Quidlington, until Jupiter is clean. Pristine and gleaming. Hmm. Don't worry, Jupiter. I'll get you some clean water. Oh, here comes the new dragon. You stay there, Gareth. As I'm the king of dragons, I just want to add some last-minute touches. Once the king of dragons has a fire-breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever. Ah, behold! My dragon! Wow! It's amazing! It's great! He's on fire! What? Whoa! Oh. And he's coming towards us! Oh. oh no! He's rolling towards the station! I think. I'd better call Fireman Sam. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. Oh, that's a new one. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. to announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has Radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well done, boy. You deserve your favourite chocolate treat. No, Elvis. Chocolate can make dogs really ill. Have you been giving him lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes, maybe a few. Mystery solved. <gasps> Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Sam. Go get them, boy. I'm proud of you. I see him, boy. Oh dear. Gotcha. You have to be much more careful, Trevor. You could have been badly injured. You're right, Sam. 
I think my tree climbing days are over. It's my fault you were in the tree in the first place, Trevor. I'm so sorry. We just needed to find the fox. The fox? I'm so sorry, Mum. I forgot you told me that the fox was a wild animal. Because I thought it looked like a dog and I opened the cage to feed it and it escaped. You mean that fox? Yes, that one. Me and Norman tried to find it, but we couldn't find it anywhere. And it, it's back. He found his own way home. Looks like he knew when his feeding time was. Well, it looks like everybody's happy. Does that mean that nothing was actually my fault? Wait a minute. You said that some foxes were just like dogs. Uh, well, maybe that one wasn't. Or, uh, maybe I was thinking about some other animal. Wolves? Oh, uh, pandas! Fish! Unicorns! There is a hill fire in Pontypandy Park. There's a hill fire in Pontypandy Park. Penny, we'll fight the fire from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. Air, 100%. I'm glad everyone's safe. Whenever there's a fire on a slope, it's always important to stay below the flames because fire and smoke travel uphill very quickly. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam, and I'm sorry, Bella. I just wanted to watch the football, but I should have been concentrating on the pizzas. Oh, I understand, Norman. After all, I love my football as much as you. Really? Sorry to ruin the celebrations, Norris, but have you forgotten our long-standing rule? Winner buys dinner. What's that you say? Bacon and maple syrup, eh, Norm? Yeah, I'll have a barbecue shrimp, thanks, mate. Uh, smoky pepperoni, please, Norman. Spinach pizza for me. Hold the cheese. Can I get a calzone? Roll twice with a crust no more than 45 millimetres thick. Can I get a shepherd's pie? Not a bad game today, Norris. Thanks, old sport. Weren't too terrible yourself. My ball! I'm not playing with you anymore, Norman, or that silly penguin. Oh, <gasps> don't listen to him, Pengy. Come on, we'll show them. <laughs> Norman! <laughs> but I... That's it. I've stood up for you. I told everyone you were a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. <laughs> Off the ice, everyone! I can't! <gasps> Whoa! I better call Fireman Sam! Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. 
Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. Everyone. I think we're OK. The ice is melting uh, uh, and the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Sam. I'll get Norman. Stay calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Oh! Ah! Now look what you've done. My human Sam can't reach me. Norman, use your penguin to skate to me. I didn't mean what I said, Pengy. You really are a super penguin. Now get me out of here! Come on, Norman. You can do it. Keeping the fireworks? That lot could go up like a rocket. There's a fire in the tent. Where they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. Keep back, everyone. Those fireworks could go off at any moment. Mike, what have you done? Oh, hello. Oh. Penny, you keep the firework boxes hose down. I'll tackle the rest of the fire. Looks like this tatty old board was the cause of the fire. That was my masterpiece. I'm thinking that might have had something to do with the fire. I'm sorry. I was trying to dry the paint quickly with my heater. Well, you need to be much more careful about where you set up your heater, Mike. Especially around fireworks. Sorry, Sam. Are the fireworks OK? Well, these ones are a bit soggy. But I'm sure we can get some more in time for tonight's display. It took me ages to paint that board. Don't worry, love. Why don't you just go and get the one from last year? Well, that's it. Better close up for the night. <gasps> Norman Price! Those coconuts were stuck down. <gasps> no wonder poor Trevor could knock them off. Uh-oh. Run! Ah! Oh, Dillis. Oh, Trevor, you do look a fine figure of a man. <laughs> well, that's over for another year, Sam. It was less trouble than last time. It's not fair. Sarah's pizza is bigger than mine. Uh, 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 my, my head's stuck. Ooh. Just drop the hammer on my foot, eh? Ooh. Keep walking, Penny. Just keep walking. Are we ready? Fireman Sam, standing by, sir. Firefighter Philip, standing by. Firefighter McKinley, standing by. Firefighter Morris, standing by. Wallaby One, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. 
on with the show. Oh, hello, Ponty Pandy. Done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> right, all clear, everyone. Back to the station. Well, I just hope that Mike does as well as me. Hello, Ponty Pandy! I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. There's a place I know where the people say hello Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it all the way up, Joe! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear Oh, no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. <laughs> Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Power's off, Sam. I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it to his solo. Move back, everyone. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 metres further back for maximum safety. Pizzas in your oven, Hannah? Just about. It was a bit of a squeeze. Great! I'll call Grandad and tell him they're nearly done. Don't call Grandad, James. Call Fireman Sam. <laughs> Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Shut off the electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I did it! I got out of my animal rescue uniform! I'm ready to fight the fire! I'm sorry, Elvis, it's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait, it's not too late. What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high. Oh, no! That might be on fire, too! 
I'm on my way! Air, 100%. Power's off! I got a bit bossy. A bit? <laughs> I know you were trying to help your granddad, James, but you should have waited for your mum or dad to do it for you. I'm sorry, Sam. We should have kept more of an eye on them. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. in the current. They're searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Hey! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. Told you! It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. It's my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, Ben. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You OK, Hannah? I didn't finish. Off you go. Finish the challenge. Really? Well, she might need a bit of help. Go, Hannah! Huddle like the wind! You did, Hannah. We knew you would, didn't we? Yeah. So let's have a big cheer for Ponty Pandy's new kayak challenge champion, Hannah! <laughs> Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. What's that noise? Two experts are better than one. What's going on down there? I can hear Station Officer Steele working on the handcart. Growing batty wings by now, a 
it hanging upside down? Oh, Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way. And the old mines go into the mountain this way. And they get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. them both. I'll just unpack that box. Then I can go and stuff Trevor's peppers. I wonder what's in this one. Ah! Oh! Oh no! My whiffy candles! Oh no! Fire! Oh! Oh! The door's blocked! Too many boxes! I need to go upstairs. Oh dear! I've never carried a penguin upstairs before. But I suppose it's the first time for everything. Oh, oh, oh. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? She'll only do those stuffed peppers again. Oh, dear. Help! I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. You're back. How did it go? Oh, we didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dillis Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and hey. Dillis Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs. Yes, there. Nelly and Arnold. You take Venus. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? The chances are pretty high, Elvis. Sam's on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the Penguin. Just testing it. What's up? 
Scared you can't bounce as high as me. Of course I'm not, but come on then, Mandy. Prove it. All right, I will. I sing my song still, I think I'll burst But I never forget the time of I'm on first I love to rock and I love to swing But the thing I love best is when that fire bell rings A ding-a-ding, a ding-a-ding, -a -ding, just one more verse Everybody knows the time of I am on first Flat and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest south. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? Oh no, not you again! Shoo, shoo! Make way for Fireman Sam Cause he's gonna save the day 